Life is a winding road No telling where it goes I think this is just basically my fault I know it's my fault I've been using this which somebody randomly at Walmart recommended to me but as you can see these are the ones that are they hydro ponics or something like that so the roots are looking for the water down there but now it's all kind of messy so I am gonna try to reorganize this whole thing maybe repot some of this thing like the one oregano plant that came up the one sage the one Swiss chard I'm gonna get rid of that grass that is growing So this is the corn, this is what it's looking like right now, no oh, high hope, you're so sweet but you're so so needy, stop it girl, stop it, um, it's been working great with the pine shavings, they're pretty big, and it's keeping the soil moist, so I'm gonna keep it for now and it still grew out of you know there are some here that are growing there not even showing so it seems like it's been working I'm sure there's more there maybe I put too much here's another one and there's another one <laughs> so in this garden bed I have kale this is a different variety that I had last year Last year I didn't like it that much, it was kind of too thick and too woody. This one is a little bit softer and I think it'd be perfect to have in smoothies. Uh, I overseeded this, so I think it'd be a better idea just to harvest them young before the bugs get to them. That is a cauliflower, that over there is a cauliflower. That is a potato, it's a volunteer, and over there I have the peas. Those steaks, they were gonna burn them, so I rescued them from the burn pile and I made them into this support for the So peas. this is the garden bed that has the spinach. I have to say this is the first time that I can grow spinach without killing it. I know there are weeds, like this one is a weed. It seems like it's not, but it really is. So that's what happens when you put, you know, compost that is not all the way down done. Okay, this is a potato. So, I mean, there are a few little ones that are growing. This is weeds. So you can see the soil really stays moist with the pine shavings this one is the biggest one the second biggest one and the third biggest one um, but then the other ones are just tiny and they're barely showing up again I do have some grass and some weeds that are growing but if I keep on top of them it's minimal so this I don't know what it is if you know please leave it down below but I have no idea 
it's flowering so if it's a fruit that's good news if it's um, a root vegetable not not great news I still have some weeds like in the other beds but as you can see minimal I haven't weeded and I don't know since I put this down four weeks ago so it's, it's not a big deal but still as you can see something comes up and this one doesn't have the pine shavings I wasn't sure what I put in so I was afraid I was gonna suffocate it and that's why that is the parsley it's been here since last year the deer ate it in December while I was away for the holidays but I am not planning on eating it I'm gonna plant some fresh but I left it for the bees and you know just as a plant but it's kind of it has that so I'm afraid that it's sick so when I research it and if that's the case I just have to get rid of it so these four are empty because I want to put the tomatoes here some are growing weeds that's a potato plant that's another potato plant that is a volunteer and that's another potato plant so before I plant the tomatoes I'll be sure I'll make sure that I remove all the weeds I'll put up you know the plants and then a bunch of mulch around it that one has nothing so I'm pretty happy with that one but this uncomposted potatoes that I put underneath are starting to grow potato plants that are gonna die because I don't this bed by the tomatoes I have nothing what I've been doing is just putting the bunny cage clean out here just to keep the soil uh, fertile and you know humid but I really haven't even watered this because I have nothing planted here I am thinking I'm gonna put onions I'm not a hundred percent sure but it, that's what I'm planning here I have asparagus nothing here I know it's right here in the middle I just weeded some things that were here because I didn't put any kind of mulch here pine shavings or anything as you can see so I feel like it really um, dries out pretty quickly but I wanted to, to be able to see as it was coming up you can see it on this other one this is the asparagus and then this one as you can see is also asparagus there were three roots for three dollars at Walmart, Jersey Giant, that's what they are. We have Echinacea, which I'm planning to have in tea for immune boost. Again, I didn't put any pine shavings. And then this one is um, Hollyhocks. And again, there are two roots in here. here. And I'm very ashamed to say that I don't remember what I planted, but I put six seeds uh, in six square feet so it must have been something that needed one square feet but i can't remember what it was so i'm just not going to worry about it until it comes up and then here i had the uh what is it called cucumber and nothing yet then i have the arugula which is coming up i don't know if you can see i have to switch the camera because that the other one died and the cucumber is growing, but I don't see anything else like baby bok choy. So this is how it looks like. We plan to change quite a few things as far as we, we are situated on that side over there. We kind of want to move towards the center right here, just leave the animals over there. So this is the first step. Um, the idea is just to mulch this whole thing. But this is super nice for an afternoon here. And it's super nice over there where the woods are, but it gets really buggy. I don't know if you can see the bugs flying everywhere. 
but over here, same shade. And as you can see, it kind of goes a long way because this is a huge tree. And that's a tree right there. The sun eventually, during the summer, it's gonna go all the way up there at this time. It's not gonna be towards the south. But it's still, we'll still get a little bit of shade. The idea is to fence over there fence right there and over here through the woodshed have a space to actually cut the wood we have over there we have a bunch of roots and stuff over there that we need to deal with and we also need to work on that part over there where the boys pen is gonna go but right now it's full of debris and we just have to chip it which is gonna help but it's like the five million step before getting to actually building the pen there they go with the ducks probably go into a creek so for that for the right now those are just plans 